know, it's too general. Finally, somebody, I think in Florida, wrote in and said, you're looking for a motive conjugation or Russell conjugation. It turns out Bertrand Russell had been here earlier, and in 1948, he was on the BBC, um, and he said, let's look at the construction. I am firm, you are obstinate, he, she, or it is a pig-headed fool. And that, that was just a moment where I said, oh my gosh, I don't realize that I have been given no extra information about the three conjugations that he's gone through. And yet I feel differently. I like the fact that somebody is firm and steadfast, and I dislike the fact that somebody is pig-headed. Uh -huh. And then I realized that this could actually be weaponized and as part of an arms race, that maybe the newspapers were in fact conjugating uh, president, strongman, dictator. Mm -hmm. And so I remembered this uh, very strange phrase from years past, Panamanian strongman, Manuel Noriega. <laughs> and I thought, who would come up with a construction that awkward uh, and always invariant? Uh -huh. And then everyone repeats it. And then everyone it. uses it. Exactly. Constantly. Hawkish. He's hawkish. Right. Or a controversial businessman was, was applied to a friend of mine, uh, Declan Ganley, who had uh, fought the Lisbon Treaty in the EU. And at some point, they removed controversial businessman, so he just became businessman Declan Ganley. And so what I, what I came to understand is, is that the big boys don't play around with faking the facts. What they realized is that we have multiple opinions on everything, but our emotional state selects which opinion. And the person who figured this out uh, uh, is Frank Luntz. And Frank Luntz was a Republican pollster. It, there's a video of him where he asks people, you know, what do you think about uh, undocumented workers? And like, oh, you know, they're doing a great job and we have to recognize their contribution. Well, do you support illegal aliens? No, 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 no they no, should no, be no, deported. No. Yeah. And in an instant, and then you see that the mind doesn't see itself. It's having two reactions to death tax and estate tax. <laughs> it's the same object. Right. And so we are both for and against everything.